Welcome to another daily briefing. Um, this is liable to be a very brief one. Uh, two reasons, there ain't much about, and it's also very hot. Um, stage uh, left or right, whatever it is, um, you'd be as hot as him, so we put a wet, cold towel over him if you were 50 kilos and sporting a fur coat on this, on this very afternoon. Um, so we've got the draw at Lake Norient. Um, I'm really annoyed because I can't get any stats from anybody, but listen, we're all able to watch games. Um, all I thought of instantly as I sat through it was the fact that um, I'm still going through, because I'm enjoying it so much, still going through episodes of that Sunderland Until I Die thing, and the football I saw um, against Leighton Orient from us um, was on a par with, with, with League One football. Simple as that. Not very good. Um, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but there were seven recognisable first team players involved in that game and they didn't shine. Um, one guy, one guy on Twitter, forgive me, I think it's, is it Hotspur World or something? I'll find out because this guy produces good stuff. And he, his comment was crazy that you can put the likes of Deer, Delhi, Bergwin, Mora and Winks amongst a bunch of kids playing at Lake Norient and they still can't shine. Almost as if they should have been gone years ago. I think that sums up that entire. F well, not it wasn't a fiasco. It was just it was just a pretty bloody unwatchable. I mean, if you'd have paid to go in, I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh yeah, Harry Winks was allegedly spat at that. On is the towel going to come off? <laughs> oh hello, he's going to go and sit in the sunshine. Brilliant. Um, Harry Nick Winks was allegedly spat at. Um, I've watched, there's a video out there where they've slowed it right down and he was definitely spat at. Um, do you need, you don't need me to tell you that spitting at people isn't very nice, do you? No. So we, we, we'll take that as a baseline that we all understand. Um, but it did occur to me that perhaps Winks ought to be thankful for small mercies um, given some of the things that people would like to do to him and have expressed such on social media. Um, in other news, Jamie Carragher is 43. Um, we've got quotes from Nuno and um, these are these are saddening for, to hear. Um, I think he thinks... Well, no, that would be deeply unkind. It's almost as if he thinks that because he's new to the job, we're also new to the job. Um, and we're not, we're, we're, we're long, long, long in this game. Uh, quote, I believe that we have a very good squad, a talented squad with good players. They need improvement, of course, because I believe that every player be can become better. I think that's nice. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. The only problem that I would have with that is then when we judge each case on its individual merits, because there's a difference between a, a sort of a nice little phrase on a fridge magnet and then applying it to, to reality. So um, very hard to improve. Good player, blah, 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 needs to, what did he say? Um, believe that every player can become better. Eric Lamella signed in 2013. Eric Dyer signed in 2014. Ben Davies signed in 2014. Toby Alderweireld. Let's leave him out of it because he's actually had a decent enough career. But what he does have in common with this group will emerge very quickly. Musa Sissoko signed in 2016. Davinson Sanchez signed in 2017. Serge Aurier signed in 2017. What have all those players got in common? Yeah, they've, no, they've won nothing. Nothing at all. They've done nothing for Spurs. Yeah, there's a bit of been in a World Cup, this, that and the other. They've none, done nothing, won nothing at Spurs. Their CV at Spurs stalled. In many instances, went backwards. Nuno carries on um, at the same time. So what's he going to do with these then? He's, he's going to improve these. And this goes back to the comment that's comments I made a few weeks ago about this business of fairy dust that he's got in his pocket. Don't think there's anything there. At the same time, I believe... Is it him repeating himself? It's not my typo, I, uh, unless somebody's misquoted him. At the same time, I believe at the same time it is not easy to improve our squad. But we need to. So we need to be very clinical on the players that can join us and can help us. Very clinical. 
that sounds like um, what does that sound like that sounds like it's really 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 difficult um, and so that would explain why we didn't quite get it done um, yeah and it adds there's another quote here yes we ha we need to bring in some things that we don't already have like players that win stuff maybe I don't know we have to bring in people who besides being a good player is a good human being because that is where everything starts I would say and I, I will be accused of being a Mourinho um, fanboy that towel is doing remark remarkably well there um, I would say that we don't need to worry about the human being factor. Um, I think the gentleman who spat at um, Harry Winks might need to think upon that. But the the business with our players is that is that nice guys don't win stuff. And I told you when I was looking at the um, Manchester City video, we look like the territorial army, competition winners, um, nice guys. And they look like special forces, um, you know, just absolute machines. That's the difference. Um, so this business of good human beings, this, 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 this isn't even a smokescreen. This is just embarrassing. And Danny Ings, for those of you who have even bothered discussing it, um, thankfully we don't have to until some, something in, enormous um, happens because um, Hassan Hutl, Hutl has um, t quoted on the BBC there's no reason to sell him so far none of the clubs who Ings would hope to move to have made an inquiry Spurs aren't in for just about anybody um, I think we might get this Japanese kid over the line if they can make the big leap from what was it 15 and a half million to 20 million euros um, and that my friends is just about it because everything else out there is um, a pile of steaming you know what um, and of course Tottenham Hotspur's server broke down yesterday um, to broadcast the match which just about sums up most businesses during the pan pandemic have you tried to buy anything that isn't in front of you over the last year or so yeah pandemic mate right okay um thanks very much i'm sorry that wasn't exactly um but like i say it's very hot and in truth we're we're, we're sort of going through the bones of a game which we can't analyze really properly other than with our own eyes um but we've got another friendly um is it ipswich and then we're going to get play some big boys and that might well end up stinging. Good luck, stay in the shade, keep it on them.